and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening. Introducing first in the blue corner, it's coming from Romania. Make some noise for Claudio Estrate. It's going to be a big, big night, and I mean that in more ways than one here at the PO World Series. Later on, in the third part of the event, the PO World Grand Prix, we'll of course see a four-man heavyweight tournament. And right now, just a little bit of an appetizer here to wet our palates. Claudio Estrate of Romania, set to take on Miran Fabian of Slovenia in a 93 kilos and over bout. Claudio Estrate is listed as 98 kilos coming into this matchup. He's had 35 professional fights in his career, 23 wins, 10 losses, 2 draws. And he is a powerhouse, folks. Look at the upper body, look at the pectorals, the shoulders, the biceps. He's got very long legs. Claudio Estrate is just built to dish out pain and destruction inside the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Slovenia. Make some noise for Mila. Fabian! Hey, check it out, baby. Oh, so you look here for a the second. Slovenian Rocky, Miran Fabian, a uh, recent replacement. I don't know if it's a last minute replacement or not. Or an injured Vladimir Tom. I'm saying, what you got? You got that face. Hold up, bitch. 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 Hold up, I see white teeth, I see like me, nigga give me five feet. Been in places I've been, all the made back ends, talk about five, six best friends. For Estrate, 45 of those 63 fights are wins with eighteen. Pull up in the two, bad bitches with me too. And my niggas wanna shoot. Down payment on my wrist, pay too much you too. Hit them bitches with the juke, R2, spin move, raw matic with the juice. Show with the Maloos, fuck a room, I want the roof. Cabanas on the roof, bandanas on my troops. Do say diamond two, now pop that pussy. Presenting the blue corner. Weighing 90 kilograms, height 1.86 meters. Having a personal record of 35 fights, 23 wins, and losses in two draw. He's fighting for Romania. Please make some noise for Claudio Estrate. <laughs> Presenting the red corner, weighing 100 kilogram, height 1.83 meters, having a personal record of 63 fight, 45 wins, 25 by knockout, 18 losses. He's coming from Slovenia. Make some noise for Milan Fabio! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight. A plus 93 kilogram, three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Grosso Andre. Round one. Touch of gloves and we are underway. This is a very important fight. A very important fight because like I said, we do have the four-man heavyweight World Grand Prix coming up later tonight. And these are two other heavyweight fighters. So, you know, th they could be the next one in line. They may punch their ticket to number one contendership with an impressive performance. What's great about Fia is their plans for the future. They are de going to decide the very first ever Fia heavyweight champion here tonight. The winner of the tournament will be crowned the champion. 
And I know there are plans in place later on to decide champions in other weight divisions as well as FIA expands their own presence here. You can see that the Estrate, certainly the larger of the two individuals in the ring right now. But as I said, Miran Fabian, more experienced. Looks to me like he's a crafty veteran in there. Hard shots going in by these two. A big knee there from the Slovenian Rocky. Another hard knee right in the same spot. He's targeting the left side of the body as the mouthpiece goes flying halfway across the ring there. Referee's searching for it. It's not so easy to find. It's a clear mouth guard on a white ring canvas. Back to business here in round number one. Popped him with a left jab, swinging wildly and viciously with a right hand was Istrate. Eats a few shots again from the Slovenian and misses with that kick. Bad intentions on the mind of Claudio Estrate. And if one of those bombs happens to hit its target, will be bad news for Fabian. Fabian, though, very crafty, very slippery inside that ring. It's like a wet piece of spaghetti. It's hard to actually pin this guy down. It's the second time now the mouth guard has popped out. Obviously, that's accidental now, but referees will only put up with that for so long. And yeah, there he goes. Andre Grosu warning him, look, if that thing comes out once again, there's going to be trouble. Wow, what a brutal kick that was right in the guts. That'll make your back crack and your liver quiver. 30 seconds remaining in round number one. See a lot of people in the audience here leaning forward just a little bit here, waiting for that big moment. These are two behemoths inside the ring right now. You know as well as I do, it's different with, with guys this big. You get that much velocity and power behind their punches and kicks. Ooh, he caught a left hand there from the Romanian. End of round one. Well, take a deep breath, folks. You can feel it. You can certainly feel it. That something is about to explode. It's like walking on the ground through a field of landmines. Eventually, you're going to step on something that will be blown to the back. With the kicks and the snapbacks, ready for combat. Knock us down till we Claudio come back. Strate Contact is made, we don't play, Fabian. stay on track. Getting away, believe that you go for it. Feeling out the waters just a little bit, but not for much longer. Seems to me like uh, Fabian is being very careful. Look at, look at the way he's dodging, the way he's bobbing and weaving in there. He does not want to taste the power of Estrate. Estrate, on the other hand, biding his time for one of those huge clubbing shots that could send round Fabian to the hospital. Here we go. Second round, three minutes on the clock at the FIA World Series 2018. Big, wild swing and a miss there by the Romanian. He's got him cornered, though. And look at the way he's staying alive, fighting back when he has to, slipping and sliding, holding. Very wily veteran inside the ring is Mirian Fabian. Short little shots making their way through the guard as he gets shoved back into the ropes. Hard knee coming in now. Those are such dangerous shots by Estrate. Just needs to land that one clean one. Inside low kick lands and a cracking body kick there from the Romanian. Look at that! There was a 
There was a, a showdown there at high noon between these two Cowboys. Looking him right in the eye, and, all, and Fabian was not backing down at all. He's like, all right, you wanna, wanna let me have it? Go ahead, let me have it. Let's see what happens. Trying to hug it out in the middle of the round. Well, that's not gonna work. You can slug it out, but you can't hug it out. Save the hugs for after the fight. And that's that wily veteran attitude as well of Miran Fabian. Look at that, short little shots. He knows he's not gonna knock him out with little shots like that, but just reminding him that he's there. Look at the way he moves. He's so good defensively, is Fabian. Reminds me of one of those old time boxers that just knows how to move in the ring. He can almost predict what Estrate is gonna do before Estrate has even decided what he's gonna do. Oh, and he tags him with a left hand. Sends the mouth guard out now for the third time in the ring. And let's see what referee Andre Grosu has to say about that. Is he going to pull it out? There it is. Boom. Yellow card. That means that uh, Estrate has been docked one point in this second round which means that if he wins the round, then uh, it's gonna be 9-9. Nine, nine. And if he loses the round, then he's really in trouble. Stop. Oh, Stop. wait, now come on! Now wait a minute. Now Fabian cannot turn his back like that, but at the same time, Estrate let him have it about three or four times from behind. Here we go. And believe me, those are big, powerful shots that you can't just stand still and Do take power shots like that. What now? Something else fell out of the ring as the mouth guard fell out this time. Whose is it now? Well, how could I? <laughs> Whose do you think it is? The fourth time in the fight, is he going to get a second yellow card? We warned him that it's going to be the red card. I thought you had to give two yellow cards and then the red card. He's just going to go right to the red card. End of round two. Well, it's a long night at the office for Claudio Estrate's mouth guard. That thing's seen more action than just about any mouth guard here in FIA history. Four times it's popped out. There it goes. That was one of the times. Well, we have, that's another, that's a factor in this fight. It's a big factor. Because if that thing jumps out of his mouth one more time, it's this fight's history. And nobody wants to see it end like that. Well, regardless of how you have this thing scored, you have to take into the fact, take into account the fact that Claudio Estrate has lost a point in the second round. So. This fight continues. Third and final round here. This bizarre matchup. Miran Fabian, very defensive and extremely, excuse me, extremely good uh, defensively as well, I may add. Estrate is looking for those power shots, but thus far has not really been able to drop one. And that is unless Fabian has his back turned. Ooh, he just ate one there. Those reflexes, hopefully for him, are not slowing down because that's also going to be a huge factor if they are. Certainly, Miran Fabian not going to win any bodybuilding contest. Whoa! But has been in, in pretty good shape thus far. If he's slowing down here in round three, 
That's not good news. Estrate could be wearing on him. If the mouth guard comes out, though, all the work that Estrate has put in thus far is going to go right down the toilet. Ooh, he wound up. Did Fabian. Ooh, he ate a left. Down low. Ducked his head and he caught him. Misses with the right. Clubbing shot. Look at the way Fabian is hanging on the ropes there. He's always kind of looking over his shoulder. Holding on. The referee warning him about holding. That yellow card may come out again for holding if Fabian's not careful. Caught him with a right hand in the temple. Well, that's like, if you punch Estrate in the forehead or in the top of the head, that's like hitting a coconut with a fork. It's not really going to do anything. Estrate showing signs of fatigue as well here. These are two big, massive individuals here who are starting to fade here at the end of round number three, about 30 seconds left to go as the hourglass continues to let the sand slide to the bottom. Both guys are ripe for the pickings here. Fabian better stay on his toes. Oh, and down he goes and clear out of the ring. Is that going to be counted? An eight count or no? He's very slow to get up. Closing seconds now. That was not scored a knockdown, and he's just going to walk it out, walk out the clock. Not the best way to end round number three for Miran Fabian. But I'll tell you what, that's a dangerous game they're playing inside the ring there. Very dangerous. And uh, Claudio Estrache not really able to use his best weapons in this matchup. And that's his power. And that's, that's a credit to Mirad Fabian here. He's a very slick, crafty, defensive fighter. And he's, it's hard to look good against a guy like Mirad Fabian. He can make you look silly. Very charismatic guy. And he gave Estrate a good fight. Getting the applause here from the crowd at ringside. Look at that. Look at the way he bobs and weaves. He's got great reflexes. Started to fade a little bit in round three. And look at that. Take a seat. Via President Dorian Damier. Anxiously awaiting the decision here in this one. And we will send it up to ringside momentarily for the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, the scorecards has showed 3 2 in favor for the red corner. Mira! Fabian! Fabian gets the victory here. Slipped on the rope, but he gets his hand raised here. The wily veteran, Miran Fabian, at 33 years of age, gets the victory here tonight.